We're going to talk about tenses, grammatical tenses of the verb. I hope that you are going to like this class. And now let's make a full pause and wait for the students to come. <clears throat> I hope it's going to be a nice and interesting class for everybody. So guys, finish your work and come on, come on, be ready to the lesson. And now I have some time to prepare my materials. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mary. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling today? Better. Better? Much better? I am so happy about it. So how about the weather? Warm. Uh, Rainy? Um, no wind or no. not? We uh, don't have rain, mm -hmm. but uh, snow n not uh, in in the in ground in the ground mm -hmm. and and all <laughs> not cold. So it is mild weather. It is nice, nice. I am happy about it. And uh, we've got one more student, Michael. Hello, how are you? Do you hear us? Hello, hello, tell us something. We hear you, do you hear us? I hope that you do. Tell us hello. Lydia, hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Lydia, hello. Hi, I'm Lydia. Yes. How are you? Thank you very much. Thank you very well. <laughs> You look wonderful today. Uh, yes, I had the I had the good or well well day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's great. That's great. Michael, do you hear us? Uh, yes. Hello. How have you been doing today? How was your day today? Everything is uh, all right. <laughs> mm hmm. What have you been doing today? Usual day, uh, nothing interesting. Mm -hmm. Nothing much? <laughs> yes. I see, I see. Okay, so today we are going to talk about grammatical tenses of the verb. And the first question to you, do you like to learn uh, grammatical tenses, Michael? Is it easy for you or not so easy? It's interesting to correct uh, <laughs> uh, my, my language. Uh, because uh, sometimes uh, I maybe <coughs> make it uh, make the sentence uh, wrong mm -hmm. without mm -hmm. uh, yes yes I agree with you completely so it is an interesting and uh, very fascinating topic and um, it is really easy one and uh, first of all we have to sum up everything in one table and be ready to discuss it. So today we are going to do it. And the question to Mary. Mary, so uh, how many tenses do we have in the English language? Uh, we have three tenses. Indefinite, past simple and past participle form. So it is uh, in general, right? So yes. Michael, do you agree with Mary? Uh, I don't hear. Uh, could you repeat the question? Yes, how many tenses do we have in the English language? Uh, maybe 27. Yes, uh, maybe uh, someone uh, else has got another opinion. Uh, uh, Masha, uh, what is your number? Three uh, infinitive, past simple, and part participle form. Uh, we talk about verb, not sentence, yes? So, sentence is, in fact, how the verbs exist. So, sentences are very important because the verbs uh, cannot exist without sentences. So, they are interconnected. We have to remember it. And uh, infinitive, past simple and past participle is just the table that help us to learn uh, the uh, main uh, functions of the verb, so the main tenses. 
but how many tenses, how many tense forms are there in the English language, Mary? What do you think? <laughs> many, I don't know. Many. <laughs> <laughs> many, okay. Good answer, good. And uh, uh, now I'd like to ask Lydia, what do you think about English grammar, about the verb and its tenses? How many tenses do we have in the English language? I study, I study it. A simple, continuous, perfect, the perfect continuous. The yes. Tense. Yes. It's, it's tenses. Is yes. A, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I agree with you. We do really have such tenses, tense forms in the English language. And once we came to our teacher in the university and he started asking us questions and he asked us, so students, how many tenses do we have in the English language, in the English grammar? And we were given, we were given uh, many examples. For example, 3, 4, 12, uh, 24, 26, and uh, our teacher told us, so none of us is right, and uh, he told us that there are three tenses in the English language, guess which, do you know? Past, present, and future. Yes, Mary, you are right, I agree with you completely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, exactly the, the sentence our teacher told us that we have uh, present, future, and the past. And all the rest are the variations of these tense forms. So in uh, present, we have got what tense forms? Present, simple. Present, continuous. Present, perfect. Am I right? Yes, and present perfect continuous. And present perfect continuous. All these tenses we have in past and some in future. Do you agree with me? Yes? yes. I hope you do. Okay. <laughs> Alexander, hello. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How was your day today? My day was uh, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like to learn English tenses, English grammar? English uh, grammar. Grammar? Yes. Yes, yeah. you do. You do. So, how many tenses do we have in the English uh, grammar? How many tenses of the verb do we have? Uh, a lot of. Many, many, many. We have got many of them. Yes. Right. And uh, I agree with you completely, but in fact, we've got three of them present, future, and past. All the rest are the variations of these tense forms. And now I'm going to give you a handout. Please press the link and open it. In the chat box, you have got the, the link. And yes. tell me if you can open it. I opened it. You did, Alexander, great. Mary, what about you? Can yes, you open it? I'm open. Yes. Lydia, what about you? Can yes. you open the file? I see, I see the graph. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, Michael, I hope Michael uh, could do it as well, as well. And uh, let's discuss the tenses in more detailed explanation. So, Mary, what do you see? Let's start with simple present. Simple present is in the middle of our page. Can you see it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, uh, simple present expresses the things in general. Can you give us an example? Uh, simple present, I read text. I read, I read the text. Mm -hmm. And usually we say, I read this text every day. We have got some tense markers, time markers that show us that uh, this action is repeated. It shows us that uh, the action is general. For example, water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. So a general truth or a general action. Well, the second, simple past. What actions does this tense form express, Mary? Uh, uh, we use simple past when we uh, talk about uh, uh, some usual action, maybe 
uh, when we about uh, hobbits, when habits, habits mm -hmm. when we uh, uh, tell uh, some general truths. In and the past. Yes, and uh, after the table, do you see that we have got the explanation? First, it was the simple present, and the second, it was simple past. Can you find it in the handout? Yes. Yes, you do. Okay. So, simple past means actions that began and finished in the past. And we have got the date when this action took place. Can you give us an example, Alexander? Um, which example? Present perfect. Past simple. Past uh, simple. Past simple. Mm -hmm. um, okay. I... Uh, I mm, sorry. Я учился в школе в таком-то году. I studied at school in 1992. Yes, I agree with you completely. What about you, Lydia? Can you give us an example of simple present? Simple present, simple present. Uh, okay, I I I walk. Yes. Yeah, right. Uh, what about past? Simple past. I I I wrote I wrote my book book before uh, five uh, years. Yes. Yeah, right. And uh, present progressive actions happening at the moment of speaking. We've got another tense form: present progressive or present continuous. What actions? Does it express Alexander? Present progressive. It expresses. Express, uh, it it stands. Um, express uh, action which uh, is going in, in this moment. Yes, in the moment of speaking, present progressive usually expresses the actions that are taking place uh, at the moment of speaking. For example, now we are chatting. And this is, we are chatting, present, progressive. What about present perfect? Mary? Uh, present perfect, it's uh, a tense when uh, uh, the important result. Yes, uh, the result of it is important for present. Yes, yes. But actions happened in the past, but the results of them are important in the present. You are right. So, can you give me an example of present perfect? Um, I uh, uh, I have been uh, re read this book. Do we do oh. we need been in present perfect? Oh no, I have yes. read. <laughs> yes, but I have uh, after have. What verb should we use? I have. I have past uh, participle of the verb. Uh, read. By yes. Past participle. It is going to be read. Read. I have read the this book. book. This book. The book. I have already read this book. Yes, yes. I agree with you completely. Alexander, can you give us an example of present perfect? Present perfect. Yes. Um. Okay. I have been in. I know. I have been to Paris. I have been to Paris. Yes. Good example. Lydia, can you give us an example of present perfect, please? I have cooked. Uh, I, have, uh, I have cooked, uh, cooked a lot of cakes. Cakes. Yes. Very good example. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Michael, are you following us or are you busy? I guess Michael some, has something to do. Okay, he's going to listen only, and we are going to continue our lesson. The next is simple present, actions in present that follow one another. It is the tense form that we already discussed. Besides uh, expressing things in general, pre, uh, simple present also expresses actions in the present that follow one another. Mary, can you give us an example? Uh, which tense? Simple present. Uh, simple present. 
Mm -hmm. Actions in the present that follow one another. Ah. Yes, you're right. For example, in the morning... Okay. Uh, I do my homework when my mother come home. comes home. Uh, I remember about the third person singer that in the third person singer we add the ending. Yes, uh, uh, yes. yes you're right. Good. Um, Next. Uh, actions in the past. One followed the other. It is also the same as in present, but in the past. Alexander, can you give us an example? Uh, One action after yesterday, another. Yesterday morning I got up, uh, uh, had breakfast and... Uh, went to work. And went to work. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Good of you. Uh, the next one. Action started in the past and continue up to the present. What tense form is it? Yes, yes. Mary, do you have a question? Yes, yes. Who has got the question? Action in present, one follows the other. То есть, э, э, нужно сказать какой-то глагол в present, да, и mm -hmm. одно следует за другим. Mm -hmm. А что одно, одно action, а что другое будет? Что другое, главное, что in это? Present, in present, so one action and another action. In the morning I wash my teeth, face, uh, and uh, do my morning exercises. А, oh. то есть делать два глагола какие-то, два, два действия? Yes, и оба, оба and are in present. А, то есть я встала и пошла на работу, допустим, yes. да? Yes, Это вы имеете в виду, понятно. И это in present and in past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, okay, next. Seven, action started in the past and continue up to the present. What tense form is it? Alexander, can you guess? I thought that it's uh, present perfect continuous. Present perfect. Mm -hmm. present yeah, right. perfect. Okay, can you give us an example of the action that started in the past and continued mm -hmm. up to the present? Um, mm, I don't know. I. Um, I. <laughs> I uh, started. No, no. I have. I have already. I have already um, eaten. Eaten. Yes. No, no. Mm -hmm. When I started to do something else, for oh, example. Man. Yes. Okay, so one action started in the past and continue up to the present. Yes? And uh, the result of this action is important to the present tense. So this is also present perfect. Okay? Let's come up to uh, the next one. Mary, you are welcome. Number eight. Uh, past progressive, this action was, is uh, progress when a new action inter interrupted it. Yes, it is past continuous or past progressive. For example, yes. uh, я читала книгу, когда мама пришла с работы. Mm. I uh, was uh, read, reading. Was reading book when my mom uh, came. Came, came mm -hmm. at home or uh, at work. From work. Came from work. From work. Okay. Alexander, can you give us an example of past progressive? Past continuous? Um, past continuous. Past continuous, yes. <clears throat> uh, yesterday I. No, yes. <laughs> yesterday I was. Uh, I was learning English, English? Mm -hmm. in, uh, from five from five, seven, no, for example. From, from five to seven, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good, good. And another action interrupted it when uh, my friend called me. So here we have got two actions. One action is in present, is in past 
continuous or in past progressive, and another is in past simple. Yes. Do you understand it, Alexander? Yes. Yes, you do. What about you, Lydia? Do you understand it? Lydia, do you hear us? I, I guess I, I, I understood. Great, great, great. So we can come to another one. Nine, repeated actions in the present. It is simple present. We've already discussed it, that uh, the action uh, repeats all the time. For example, I go to work every day. I went to work yesterday, and I, I will go to work tomorrow. This is a repeated action. So we repeat one and uh, the same action for many times. It is a repeated action in present. Okay. Uh, Dmitry, hello, how are you? Do you hear us? Hello, Dmitry. So Dmitry is going to come to join us, to join our discussion. And uh, Michael is also with us now. Okay. Uh, Lydia, can you give us an example of repeated actions in present? Yes, yeah, right. Repeated uh, actions in present. Yes. I study English. I study English. Perfect. Okay. Michael, what about you? Can you give us an example? of present simple of repeated actions. Действия, которые вы повторяете каждый день. То, что вы делаете изо дня в день. Ну, а как оно произносит? Это просто как simple present. present. Yes, simple present. Uh, okay. I, I, I study English. And what about you? I eat. <laughs> yes, a good example. Good of you. Mary, what about you? I uh, clean my teeth every morning and every uh, evening. Yes, good of you. Thank you. Predictions in the future. So, we predict that something can happen in future. This is will plus uh, the verb in future. Will future. For example, it will rain tomorrow. Mary, can I, can you give us an example? Uh, A simple future. Uh, I will uh, I will go to the shop tomorrow. Okay, okay. Tomorrow. Alexander. Uh, will prediction in the future will. Yes. Um, I will. I will. I will want. I will want sleep at ten. I will go to sleep at ten. I will go to sleep. I will go to sleep at ten. Okay, good. Fixed plans in the near future. Present progressive. So we have got present progressive tense, or it is called uh, present continuous in another name. For example, uh, Mary, can you give us an example? Uh, present continuous. Uh, present continuous for future. Oh, uh, I I will do my exercise next three hour. Yes, I will be. I will be. I, I, I will. I will be doing my exercise for the next three hours. three hours. Yes, and fixed arrangements, timetable. It, it is also simple present. So, uh, Alexander, can you give us an example? Uh, fixed arrangements, timetable. Time table. Uh, uh, for example, tomorrow. Tomorrow, the plane. I go to work. I go to work tomorrow. I. Uh, Tom tomorrow. I mm -hmm. Tomorrow I will go to work at eight. At eight. I go to work at eight. So here you see we use a present simple for the future actions that indicates timetable or fixed arrangements. 
Let's go on, and here we have got all the tenses in more detail, detailed uh, table. Can you see? Next page. Uh, which page? What, what is the number? Yes, number two. Okay. Number two. Here we have got the table. Uh, first column, tense form, then affirmative, negative, or question form, use, and signal words. Signal words show us or give us a prompt what tense form to use. When we see this word in the sentence, we have to know that uh, this or that tense form should be used. Let's read present simple first. Mary, you're welcome. Uh, example? Yes, yes. Uh, he speaks, uh, he does not speak, does he speaks. Uh, action uh, in the present uh, taking place once, never, or several times. Facts, actions ta uh, taking place on uh, after another. One, one another. after another. Mm -hmm. uh, one after another. Uh, action uh, said be... Uh, yes, Set by a timetable or schedule. 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 What does mean? The same as timetable. Raspisanie. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. And, and signal words. Time, time markers. Mm -hmm. Time markers, yes. Uh, always, every, never, normal, often, so, often, yes. seldom, uh, sometimes, usually, uh, if sentence type I, type if. One. Type one, if uh, I talk, I talk. Yes, you're yeah, right. So present simple. Are there any questions to this tense form? We have already read and we have already learned this tense form many times and did many exercises. So, uh, what is m the most important thing to remember about present simple, Lydia? Yes. The most important thing in present simple. Present simple. Подождите, только что был simple. Одну секунду. Был past. Нет, past еще past не было. Да, только был present. Окей. Что должна сделать свой свой мой пример или прочитать то, что есть? Мы уже прочитали то, что есть. Да. И теперь надо сказать, что самое важное в этом часовом. А, в, это, в этом времени, как бы, что самое важное. Okay. Да. Я могу как бы взять вот из use, или я должна... То, что самое важное, это есть как бы вот в, в рубрике use, правда? Use, yes. Да, вот это все как бы самое главное. То есть, э, mm -hmm. Да, это simple present. Simple present. Uh, it's... Uh, it's uh, we, we, we do every day. Every day? Yes. Mm -hmm. Every day to, to all our life. Yes. Maybe, uh, maybe we need to add uh, 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 and in S, for example. Ah, okay. Yes. She, he, she eat and he, he she eat a heavy, heavy S. Yes, and yep. Her? Right, you're right. When we have the third uh, person singular, he, she, it, we should add the ending s to the main verb. It is very important. And Michael prompted us and uh, gave us a signal about it. And absolutely, it is true. So a very common mistake is the omission of this s in the third Mm -hmm. uh, person singular. We have to remember it. It is really very important. The next tense form is present progressive. Alexander, Alexander is not with us. Maria, welcome. Uh, present progressive example. He is speaking. Uh, he is not speaking. Is he speaking? Uh, use action uh, taking place and uh, in the moment of speaking. Action taking place only for a limited, uh, limited. limited period limited. of time. Action uh, arranged, arranged for uh, the future. Uh, single words uh, at the moment. Just, uh, just now. Listen. Look now. Right now. 
right now. Yes, good of you. So the most important thing about present progressive is that tense form is taking place at the moment of speaking. So we have to remember about it and uh, practice it all the time. So present progressive. Uh, are there any questions about these tense forms? Tense form? Everything is clear, isn't it? Yes. Yes. We can uh, come up to the next one. Lydia, you are welcome to read. Simple past. It's in the table. Past. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, he smoke, spoke, he did, mm -hmm. he, uh, did he speak? Yes. He used action in uh, the past talking place. Taking place. Uh, taking, taking place once, never or several times. Yes. Actions taking a place one after another. Yes. Action taking place in the middle of another action. In the middle of another action. Yes, good idea, good idea. And the signal words. Yesterday, two minutes ago, in 1990, yes. the other day, last mm -hmm. Friday, if sentence type, uh, type? Yes. Okay, type, type two. Type two. If I talked. Oh, type, two. Mm -hmm. type two. Yes. Uh, so yeah, conditional but, sentences. But, we are not going to uh, to talk about conditional sentences. It's a separate aspect. Uh, today we are <coughs> going to talk about tense forms only. Uh, I guess it is going to be uh, enough for today's class. And uh, what's the but, most uh, important? Yes. Sentence type two. Or what is it? I don't know. Type uh, yes, we were talking about uh, past uh, tense and uh, conditional sentences type 2. Uh -huh. If we talked, we would uh, go there right now. OK, I understand. It's a special construction of if sentences or conditional sentences. We've got uh, type 1, type 2, type 3, conditional sentences, zero type. Do you remember about it? We were talking about it, and uh, uh, there will be some more classes devoted to this uh, aspect in more detail. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, then past progressive. Uh, Maria, welcome. Example: He was speaking. He was not speaking. Uh, was he speaking? Yes. Uh, use action going on at a certain. Certain time. Certain. Certain time. Certain time in the past. Actions taking place at the same time. Same, same time. Same time. Action uh, in the past that is uh, interrupted by another action. A mm -hmm. Time marker when, while, while, while uh, as long as. As long as. As long as. So past progressive uh, indicates the action that uh, started and was going on in the past. So, uh, are there any questions to this tense form? Is everything uh, clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's go on. Present perfect simple. Lydia, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, the, okay. He he has spoken. Yes. He has not spoken. Has he spoken? Mm -hmm. Putting em em emphasis. Emphasis on the result. Uh, emphasis. Emphasis uh, to underline. Uh, and emphasis uh, uh, to stress. Stress. Emphasis. Yes. There is no putting. Okay, action that is still going on, on, action, ah, вот так, отдельная строчка, going on. Yes, going, going on. on. Action that stopped recently. Recently. Recent. Okay, finished action that uh, has an influence. influence on the present, on the present. Yes. Action that has uh, taken place once, 
never or several times. I svaka to respozicija already, ever, just, never, not yet, so far, far, you know, you know, to know. To know, no. Yes, get it here, get it here. So present perfect simple. What's the most important thing to remember here, Mary? What do you think? Present perfect. It's use the verb has or have. Has have. Yeah, right. And change окончание. Ending. 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 In this verb. Yes, yeah, right. And we should use the third column of the verb or past participle, so-called past participle of the verb. Yes, when we construct this sentence. I have read, she yes. has spoken, uh, she has done. So past participle of the verb should be used. And uh, uh, the usage of this tense form indicates um, most of all the result of the action that is important for the moment of speaking. And uh, the uh, signal words are also very important. When you see in the sentence, already, ever, never, uh, yet, so far, now, we should always use present perfect simple in this, in, mo in most cases. Not always, in most cases, present perfect simple. Or one of the perfect tenses. Okay. The next, uh, present perfect progressive. Uh, Michael, you're welcome. Present perfect progressive. progressive. This is continuous and perfect in one. Example, uh, examples. Uh, he has been speaking. Yes. Uh, he hasn't been speaking. He has he been speaking. Yes, you're yeah, right. Okay. It was not present perfect progressive. Он говорит. Продолжает или как правильно перевести? Он говорил. He has been speaking. He hasn't been speaking. Он еще не говорил. Has he been speaking? Он уже об этом говорил. Has he been speaking? Yes. Okay. Yes. А чем в чем тут разница между, допустим, he получает, а, ну тут будет там. He spoke. Он говорил когда-то. Это факт. Present perfect. Он сказал, и результат того, что он сказал, важен. He has been speaking. Какой-то момент он говорил, какой-то период времени он разговаривал. He has been speaking about this. И этот момент времени, этот период важен сейчас. And this period is very important. Let's keep to English. I forget. Forgive me. Okay. And another use. So action that recently stopped or is still going on. Finished action that influenced the present. And the mockers. Michael, can you tell us the mockers in present perfect progressive? All day. A year since the 1993. Since, since. The whole week. Yes, well done, well done, good of you. And the next past perfect simple. Mary, you're welcome. Past perfect simple. He had spoken. He had not spoken. He had he spoken. Action taking place before a certain time. Certain time. Certain time. Uh, in the past, sometimes uh, interchangeable, interchangeable mm -hmm. uh, with past perfect progressive. Mm -hmm. uh, what does it mean, interchangeable? Mm, изменяется. Ну, так, как бы. взаимо, взаимо заменяется. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Putting uh, put put emphasis. Uh, putting emphasis only on the fact, fact. Uh, not the fact, mm -hmm. not the uh, direction. Duration. Duration. Mm -hmm. uh, what is duration? Uh, uh, Продолжительность. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Time's marker uh, already, mm -hmm. just, never, not eat, uh, once. Not yet. Once. Uh, once uh, until, until 
that day uh, if uh, sentence type three. Uh, if I had talked. If I had talked, he would have come, for example. Yes, in past, perfect simple. Is everything clear in this tense form? Past perfect simple? Are there any questions? Not. <laughs> no. Lydia, is everything clear to you here? Mm. Past perfect? Past perfect. Okay. Я должна почитать. Past perfect. Вам все здесь понятно. Нет вопросов? Да, да, да. I understand. In past perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. In the next tense form, past perfect progressive. Uh, well, Michael, you're welcome. Yeah. Uh, past perfect progressive uh, mm -hmm. examples. Uh, he had been speaking. He had not been speaking. <coughs> he had he, he uh, been speaking. Yes. Okay. Uh, what is it? It's uh, use when we use it. Uh, action taking place before a certain time in the past. But, uh, sometimes interchangeable uh, with past perfect simple uh, putting an uh, emphasis on the duration or, or course of an action. Yes. <coughs> so as far as you can see in past perfect simple the fact of the action is the most important thing and in past perfect progressive the duration or course of an action is the most important thing. So. This is the main uh, difference. Uh, interchangeable, sometimes interchangeable. Uh -huh. uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, in past perfect, uh, in, for example, mm -hmm. in uh, past perfect, we usually have two things. Yes, two mm -hmm. actions. Yes, two actions that are compared. One was earlier. Done. Yes, this is the past perfect, yes, and another was not so early, was yes. before that, and it is past simple. And and example: I, these two actions. Yes. I eat, uh, and after I do something. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, сначала я поел, а потом кто-то пришел. I had eaten when my mother came home from work. I had eaten is the past perfect. Mm -hmm. I have questions. Mm -hmm. То, что случилось раньше, это past perfect. Ну, то есть мы как бы past perfect подчеркиваем, что, например, сначала я ем тищу зубы, а потом я завтракаю. Ну, например. Да, правильно. You're right, you're right. Okay. А давайте сделаем пример э, вот на нашем вот конкретном сейчас занятии по поводу вас. Вот что вы говорили, вот, допустим, you had been speaking for one hour or mm -hmm. Или это будет uh, have, uh, have spoken? Это как будет? You, you, have, you had. Uh, in, past, in past participle, you mean. In past uh, perfect, you mean. Am I right? Past perfect. Past perfect or past perfect continuous? Да, вот что, допустим, вот вы сейчас говорили на протяжении часа. Что, да, что на надо... протяжении часа я говорила I had been speaking when uh, Alexander left the chat, for example. Я уже говорила uh, полчаса тогда, когда Александр вышел из чата. А, нужно как бы обязательно... Нельзя просто сказать вот на, на Past Perfect Progressive, что вы говорили э, в течение часа. Вот сейчас на нашем yes, уроке yes. без Александра, без mm -hmm. Александра. I had been, yes, I had been chatting with you for an hour. And we can uh, put a full stop here. Yes, we can say so. I had been chatting, I had been explaining. I had been explaining this rule uh, to you for an hour, for example. Mm -hmm. okay. Before the next lesson started. <laughs> Все равно, как бы, есть вот эти вот вторая часть предложения, которая говорит... Объясняет, что это будет past perfect progress. Вы можете использовать время, которое вы хотите. Просто если вам необходимо подчеркнуть, что одно было действие ранее, чем другое, то вы вам лучше использовать это, то есть форму времени. 
Да, правильно. Вы меня правильно понимаете. Спасибо. Mary, thank you for your prompt. То есть, если вы хотите просто сказать, что кто-то говорил, вы используете просто past форму. А если у вас именно два действия, вы, ну, то есть вам удобнее взять эту форму, вы ее берете. Чтобы если, если, эти да. То есть, если действие длилось время, вы берете continuous форму. Если вам важен результат, я был в Лондоне, именно действие этого, то вы берете perfect, то есть окончание действия. А если вам просто это какое-то повторяющее действие, вы берете simple. Ну, просто в какой данный момент, просто в английском нет окончаний, как у нас, делал, сделал. Ну, да. то есть, да. И поэтому они пользуются другими формами. А у нас ну, есть окончание уже, у глаголов. Уже сделал, правда, Тортик? Это уже сделал. Я сделал, да. Это я, смотрите, я сварил, я сделал, я выпил. Это будет Тортик, это не будет yes, Результат вам важен, да. Okay, ну, то есть, сделал. Ну, то есть... Это нас... самый простой, который Тортик, вот самый простой без второго дополнения. Yes, да? Самый простой, simple. Самый у него тоже есть как бы вот он как просто простое предложение. Я выпил, я выпил кофе, да, выпил. Я не пил его по жизни там когда-то. Не это имеется в виду. А вот я сейчас выпил этот кофе. То есть это будет perfect, правда? Да. Так. На present. I have, I have... Да, это будет present. Но когда я выпил кофе и, или ты пришла, когда я выпил кофе, это будет уже Okay. Yes. Это как бы сложно в, испол... в использовании. Вот теоретически оно как бы красиво, а в использовании это сложно. Да, я с вами соглашусь. Я тоже не очень люблю э, часовые глаголы, но <laughs> их надо изучить один Час... раз и забыть. <laughs> и потом <laughs> использовать. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry my Russian. <clears throat> uh, let's back to our English class and uh, we are going to have future simple. Future simple. Uh, well, Who wants to read about it? Future simple. Lydia, you're welcome. He will speak. He will not speak. Will he speak? Yes. The action in the future that cannot be influenced. Influenced. Influ I influence свободу. Невозможно повлиять. Cannot be influenced. Action in the future that cannot be influenced. Or spontaneous decision, decision assumption with regard to the future. Okay, mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Yeah. And uh, the words Marcus. In a year, next tomorrow, if sentences, type one, and uh, assumption, I think probably, perhaps, and all of it. All the rest, etc. Well, future simple. Uh, the most important thing about this transform to remember is that. What do you think, Mary? It's use future simple. Future simple, yes. Use verb. I don't know. Will. <laughs> yes, will. Yeah, right. And that it is a spontaneous decision, spontaneous action that will take place in future. So we do not think about it. It just came up uh, on our mind, and uh, we, are we will do it uh, tomorrow, for example. So we, we didn't think about it. We didn't plan it. It's not a planned action. So the next future one, simple, going to. It's quite different from uh, the, the uh, future simple, the first case. It is a planned action. So let's read it. Mary, you're welcome. Uh, he is going to speak. Uh, he is not going to speak. He is going to speak. Mm -hmm. Is he going to speak? Yes. Uh, the uh, decision made for the future. Uh, con conclusion with conclusion. Yes or no? Conclusion. Yes. Conclusion. Conclusion uh, with regard uh, to the future. Mm -hmm. uh, in one year, next week, tomorrow. Tomorrow. So the most important uh, thing here to remember is that it's a planned action and uh, it's a decision yes, that, that was made. So is it clear to you? Do you understand it? I. Yes. 
uh, I I actually I exactly don't well know future. <laughs> I very long time ago uh, learned future time, so <laughs> I can I need to repeat this time. Revise, to revise it. So mm -hmm. future simple is really very simple. Uh, we use the yes. auxiliary verbs shall and will. Our teacher from the university uh, used to tell us, yeah, shall, he will. Uh, but we uh, use uh, verb shall. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, oh, no. nowadays, we do not uh, use it very often. Um, in most cases, we use will or we shorten this verb to double L. And we do not know whether it is shall or will. <laughs> but um, when we, we talk about auxiliary verbs and modal verbs, shall as the modal verb. So we should um, determine some difference here. But in most cases, uh, here, uh, nowadays we use will. will. And shell is not so very uh, popular nowadays. So uh, it is easier for us to remember about it. So it is future, uh, future simple. And going to. Going to is the uh, planned future action. So we plan it. And future simple, we do not plan. It's a spontaneous decision. Yes, OK. Um, Lydia, you're, you're welcome to read the next. Тут мы не можем сказать he will going to. Это изменит время. Future. Вот это вот интересно с going to. It is future continuous. He will. Yes. He will do it. Возможно, он это будет делать, а возможно и нет. He will do it. Возможно, сделает, а может может и быть и нет. He is going to do it. Он уже э, запланировал это. Это уже запланированное, э, это уже как цель у него. He's going to do it. А, э, future simple. О, открылась дверь, я ее закрою. I'll shut the door. I'll shut the window. I'll go there. Это сейчас только пришло вам на ум. И вы не думали об этом вчера, позавчера, вы это не планировали. Uh, uh, I'm going to. Uh, вы задумывались над этим. Uh, вы это строили как план. Mm -hmm. И это у вас как цель будет уже. I'm going to do this task tomorrow. It's a decision that, that is planned by, by you. So it's a, the main difference. Going to and will. Yes? Okay, okay the next one. Future simple. Mary, you're welcome to read. Future progressive. Ah, yes, future progressive, you're welcome. Yes, sorry. He will be speaking, uh, he will not be speaking, uh, will he be speaking. Mm -hmm. Action that is going on uh, at the certain time, certain time, certain time. Mm -hmm. uh, in the future action that is sure, uh, yeah. sure to happen uh, in, the, in the near future. Yes. Mm -hmm. In one year, Next week, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important thing to uh, indicate here is that it is the period of time that started and uh, will be going on in future for some period of time, so for some time. So it is the most important thing here. So if you want to emphasize, if you want to underline that it is a period, so future progressive should be used here. So you understand it. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, okay. Good. The next one. Мы можем перевести как он будет говорить, например, тут. Он будет. Ну, то есть он будет говорить там с двух до четырех, ну, например. Yes, yes. And we indicate the periods of time, when it started and when it finished. Yes. And yes, the next future, the second simple. Lydia, you are welcome. He will have. Okay. In fact, it is a future perfect. Yes. A future is too simple. Future progressive. Future too progressive or future too simple. simple. Mm -hmm. okay. a, a, he will have spoken. Yes. He will not have spoken. Will mm -hmm. he have spoken? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, action that will uh, be finished at a certain time in the future. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. 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 Простое, простое, простое как бы, время. Вот только have я не понимаю абсолютно, никак не могу схватить, когда мы говорим have. Я тоже могу uh, сказать? Uh, have, have, have. I do not agree with this uh, title, future second symbol. Uh, we call it a future perfect. It is future perfect, in fact. So, I will have spoken. Future perfect tense. Это действие, которое будет завершено до какого-то момента в будущем. The action that will be finished at a certain time in future. By Monday, in a week. I will have finished reading this book by Monday. К понедельнику я уже прочту эту книгу. Понимаете? Do you understand it? Это to значит perfect, future perfect. Future ah. Yes, it is easier, and, mm -hmm, easier to remember that it is future perfect, and it is. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a kind of mistake. And the future, the second progressive, or it is a future perfect continuous. In fact, it is future perfect continuous. Well, Mary, you're welcome to read. Uh, he will have been speaking. He will not have been speaking. He uh, will he have been speaking action taking place before a certain time in the future mm -hmm. uh, putting 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 mm -hmm. uh, emphasis, emphasis. emphasis uh, on the course of an action mm -hmm. uh, time markers for the last couple of hours uh, all day long yes good of you so in this case uh, it is future uh, future perfect continuous, the period of time uh, when the action is going to take place is the most important thing. When we want to emphasize the uh, action, the duration of the action in future, we should use present perfect continuous. So? I don't very understand these times. <laughs> what important for us in these times? At a, uh, this is the same as past perfect continuous, but in future. Mm. You understand past perfect continuous perfectly well. Past perfect, but it было совершено в прошлом. Am I right? Uh, past perfect continuous. Yes. И период действия нам важен. Когда это действие было совершено? The but period of time future. is important. This is the same, but in future. You can give me example. Mm -hmm. uh, he will have been speaking. Он будет говорить, он будет разговаривать, когда uh, его uh, друг придет. He will have been speaking when his friend, when his friend's friend comes, for example. Okay, so important result and times. <laughs> And time is important here. Yes, I agree with you completely. So, uh, I think that uh, we should we shall uh, have a class devoted to this topic and uh, um, speak about it uh, in detail and to find out uh, some aspects of theory and uh, practice in more detail. Okay. And uh, here we've got we we've ha we've got a test. Hey, put in verbs, in brackets, into the gaps. I sometimes to the cinema. Go, goes, went, will go. What's the, the most appropriate tense form here, Mary? What do you think? Uh, it's simple present. Simple present, yes. You are welcome to read the sentence. Uh, I'm sometimes go. I, I sometimes go. I sometimes when go in the cinema. Go to the, to the cinema. To the cinema. Lydia, you are welcome the second. Uh, yesterday, uh, our teacher was being ill. Was ill. So when we say ah, was, we do not use ah, was ill. So because was is the same as be. So we have to remember, but in the past. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael, you are welcome number three. Okay, uh. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Listen. Uh, oh no. Uh, it's it will be. Uh, it will not be. Uh, uh, rain. 
in the west uh, the next night. It, it, it will not rain or it won't rain in the west next night. Yes. Will not or won't. This is the same. Yes. Uh, okay, four. Mary, you are welcome. Uh, listen, the baby uh, is crying. It's mm -hmm. uh, present continuous. Yes, yes, you are right. Lydia? Мы планируем, мы собираемся. We are going to ride our bikes soon. Okay, uh, we are we really, we going. We are going to ride our to bikes. Ride our bikes soon. Soon. Yes. Okay. Michael, you are welcome. Six. Uh, maybe uh, Masha. Mm -hmm. Mary, you are welcome. Uh, my father. Uh, uh, one, one second. The, the family car. It still looks dirty. My father not. Uh, my father was not a clean. Это результат машину, и она сейчас грязная. Результат действия. Он этого не сделал и какая машина? Мы смотрим на эту машину. Результат. Если это результат, значит. It's past perfect. Oh no, it's present perfect, yes? yes. Present perfect. Hasn't cleaned. Hasn't cleaned. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Seven, uh, Lydia? Seven on Sundays, the students не встанут. Это в будущем? Не встают. On Sundays the students это систематическое, это будет простое время, да? Repeated action, yes. Простое, simple present. Это будет простое, значит, это students. Students, сейчас одну секунду. Как это будет? Not, not get up early. Yes, do not get up or don't get up early. Don't, don't, я забыла слово don't. Don't. Don't get, uh, get up early. You're right. Get. Mary, you're welcome. Uh, I think it's maybe present perfect continuous. Вы когда-нибудь были в Велисе? Часть Великобритании. Have you ever visited? Ah, have you ever visited Wales? Lydia, the next one. Pets – это животные домашние, да? Да, you're right. Yes. Одну секунду. Мы кормим, мы кормим. Это тоже может быть простое. Сейчас мы разговариваем и мы кормим. В тот момент, когда мы разговариваем, мы... We are feeding, we are feeding the pets now. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. The next, Mary. Uh, they... Uh, It's uh, past simple. Past simple because last month they have uh, okay. uh, They written an essay last month. Past month. simple. Past simple, Mary. Remember. Past simple. So they. They written. This is the past participle. And the second column, remember? No, I don't remember. Napisali. Write word written. Yes. So. Uh, they written. And essay last month. The second column. They wrote and ah yes, they wrote. And <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. It's okay. It's okay. So um, it's a high time to finish our class. But I hope that uh, we have refreshed in our memory how to form and how to use the tenses of the verb. And uh, in our next classes, we are going to continue this topic because I think that it is interesting and it is helpful uh, to you. But for now, we are going to finish, and next time we are going to proceed with doing 
the exercises. So, bye for now, and see you next time. Thank you. See you. Bye-bye.